Hey, welcome again to Life in the God Lane. I'm going to share a power verse. It's very, very short, but it's very impactful for the January 29th, 2022. And it's the uh, sixth, tenth, ten commandment, tenth, sixth of the ten commandments. And it's from Deuteronomy 5, verse 17. And uh, you'll be very familiar with this. Yeah, we're going to really teach it so that you understand exactly what it says. Now, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, Life in the God Lane. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell so that every time I put one of these messages out, you get reminded about it. One comes out every day. So hope you'll be looking for them. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Make comments. It helps. Share it with someone. Send it to someone you care about. And let them get in on this Bible teaching. The name of this message is, You Shall Not Murder. It's Deuteronomy 5, verse 17. Very, very short verse. Simply says this, You shall not murder. You shall not murder. The sixth commandment is probably the most misunderstood, maybe the most misused verse in the Bible. Why? It has to do with the King James Version translation done in 1611, a long, long time ago, 411 years ago. They translated it, thou shalt not kill. Now, King James was translated a long time ago, 411 years ago, in 1611. And they weren't clear about that word and what it meant. It was the, the word, they kind of used it interchangeably, but it's a different Hebrew word, and they misunderstood it. So they translated it kill. Hebrew has Hebrew has two words for taking a life. Harag is the first word, and it means to kill. That's not the word in this text. It means taking any life, whether human or animal, taking a human life deliberately or accidentally, taking a human life legally or illegally, morally or immorally. It's the taking of a life. This is not the word used in Deuteronomy 5, verse 17. Ratzak is the word, and it means murder. And it's way different than the word for kill. It is the illegal, immoral taking of a human life. It is to take another person's life on purpose, immorally, illegally. Now, if I swat a fly, I kill the fly. I don't murder the fly, okay? That's the difference between the two concepts. The misunderstanding and mistranslation of this word as kill, not murder, is used consistently to oppose the death penalty and to support pacifism. In other words, I can't kill anybody in a war kind of a thing. In the Bible, murder was always punished by the death penalty didn't get life in prison. They killed people. The death penalty is killing. It's not murder. It's, it's killing. It's not murder. If someone came into a theater and started shooting people, murdering them, and you were armed and killed him, you killed, but you did not murder. Killing is allowed in war, in protecting other people, and that kind of thing, and it's not murder. One law appears, there's only one law that appears in the first five books of the, of the Old Testament, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Only one law appears in all five. That is the death penalty for murder. The death penalty for murder appears in all five of the first five books of the Bible. Murder, the unlawful, illegal, and immoral taking of human life, is the most unstabilizing thing that can be done in a culture. And right now, we have a whole bunch of it going on in our culture, and it's very, very dangerous. It needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped. If tolerated, more people will commit murder to get their way and to take control over people, sometimes just to prove they can do it. Murder carries, listen, it carries the immediate loss of prosperity and life to the person murdered. And it wounds all kinds of people. It, it, the immediate loss of prosperity in life. That's why it's so serious. That's why the Bible treats it so seriously. That is why the person who murders is to be 
killed. He won't murder again when he's killed. And it clarifies the price paid for murder to all others who might consider it. And regardless what some psychologist says, that stops murders. It's simple. You shall not murder. That's a very important commandment. I will see you tomorrow.